Hi, so I'm, uh, this is the second part to uh, a previous video I made about my dress, my outfit. This is the second part to that video where I will be discussing uh, products I use to uh, glam myself up today. So for my hair, I have volumizing shampoo and conditioner. It looks the most voluminous when I do this, to this side actually. Very big, very va va voom hair. All my hair, bleach, dye, trim, uh, treat, all by myself. Not a cosmetology anything. I'm in the, the medical field. On paper, but I do other stuff. So I use Amika. Amika Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. It's called Amika 3D. I'm uh, posing for Instagram. Um, also, what helps my hair is um, starting from after the shower, I try not to uh, build up products in my hair, which um, may deflate the volume that I'm trying to, uh, trying to make. So I steer clear of cream products, uh, even spritz products because it's a liquid so I like aerosol um, I have an aerosol thermal protectant that is just a thermal protectant serves no other purpose for drying and then followed by that I use Paul Mitchell super skinny serum all over my hair not necessarily the roots and that helps with the frizz And you would think that that would deter me or like reduce the bounce or the curl itself. But honestly, even if I didn't use it, I think I have the same amount of curl. It just, it's a great product that's weightless and it just provides a lot of um, like maybe the illusion of healthy hair, less frizzy. And then when I style, I use Ironclad, Ironclad Thermal Protectant Spray. Right after that, uh, Paul Mitchell, I put this on in sections of my hair and then I style it, I curl it up. And then, um, and then I move on to the shine. So for shine, no uh, nutrients, no weighing down oils of argon or whatsoever. It's called Beyond Shine Spray, and it just imparts shine. And it's aerosol, so it doesn't weigh your hair down. Um, for um, for uh, skincare, I just stopped by my Sephora recently, and um, I went to go pick up my birthday present, which was my birthday gift from Sephora. I chose the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream Kit. In comparison to the other gifts that were offered, this was my, uh, my first choice. In terms of skincare, I purchased two new products. Um, I pr purchased, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I should know because I'm Korean, but oh well. Um, let me fix my hair. Uh, it's the Laneage. Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. And what they told me is that it 
uh, goes on prior to moisturizer, like right after you wash your face pretty much, and that it would, you don't use a cotton pad, that would be a waste, and that you um, get the maximum benefit out of your moisturizer if you do that prior to um, uh, moisturizing. So I'll tell you how that goes. And then uh, while I was about to leave, I ran into uh, a representative for Wishful who happened to be at Sephora in the back in the skincare section. I've got lip gloss on today. I don't normally wear lip gloss, but I'll tell you about it. Um, so I purchased this product because they blew me away with the demonstration on my on the back of my hand, which was called Wishful. It's um, um it's like some full on like it's called an enzyme scrub, but you don't really scrub. There's no granules or anything or anything abrasive. It's just some sort of pineapple enzyme papaya. AHA BHA exfoliant pretty much just put it on and you gently like rub it for like literally 10 seconds and the amount of skin that comes off is unbelievable and I didn't really have any irritation but I generally don't have um, skin that gets irritated um, pretty often from new products uh, and then my lips I purchased a lipstick and normally I stick to drugstore brands and wait for sales on my favorite products but this product was like a tone of like nude that I was looking for and it's not representative today because I mixed it with an orange from Kat Von D called Malice but sorry about that uh Becca. And it's called um, Dune. I'll wear it on another day alone so you can see how it looks. But I mixed it with Malice from Kat Von D. And I used a Becca. I used a Becca lip gloss and I'm generally not a lip gloss person because I think it's messy but the way they layered it, it just laid so beautifully and it, it complemented the lipstick and, of the same brand so it's called uh, Lip Tuitive Glow Gloss by Becca. So anyway, those are my new um, products and one other new product. I'm giving it a go. Um, I'm really picky about concealer, but they um, had me try a Becca concealer, which it was very good coverage, but it was just not for my 40, going on 41 year old under eye skin. So I purchased, I returned that and I purchased It's called Forever Skin Correct. 24 hour wear carrying full coverage creamy concealer. I'll, I'll see how it goes, you know. The only c issue I have with my Makeup Forever concealer in the wand is that it, someone's burning up their engine. It just um, doesn't have enough coverage because I've got dark like circles from not sleeping, staying up all night, you know, getting inspired. But anyway, I think that's the end of my video because my neighbor's like, I'm holding up this. <laughs> my neighbor's uh, revving his engine up. But thanks for watching.